My name is Andrea Korber with Land and Shelter. I'm an architect working together with John Baker on the design of the new James Searles Museum. We have proposed to the town of Carbondale to reuse the old library for um, this museum project and we're really hoping the town approves. Hi, my name is Lynn Kirshner, and I'm here to talk about James Searles and his work. I've known James for well over 15 years here in the community of Carbondale. Um, got to know James through our work together at the Clay Center, and what an amazing artist. I'm Amy Kimberly, and I'm the Executive Director of the Carbondale Council on Arts and Humanities. Um, the James Searles Museum is, is like a dream come true to have a landmark in downtown Carbondale that is steeped in such beauty and will attract people to our incredible town is, is lucky. No matter where I go, I hear James work talked about and um, very honored to say here in his studio you can feel his work uh, the energy here is amazing and what his work conveys around the world not just where it's at but around the world James is very well known Ooh, I'm Will Perry and uh, I'm an artist blacksmith in the Roaring Fork Valley here uh, James I met James a number of years ago and worked with him on uh, some of these pieces since I have a forge I hammer steel tapers on a large nasal hammer and he incorporates them in his artwork. Hi, my name is Laura Stover. I work at CCAH doing design and marketing. Um, this is my first visit to the James Searle studio and I feel really honored to be here. It is an amazing place. It's a magical place. And it's sort of the gold standard for an architect to get to do an art museum. And it, I can't help but be just extra psyched about the fact that this isn't um, the kind of project where it's like a mausoleum or something. You know, we're allowed to use natural light. This type of work wants to touch the environment, have people come in and, you know, there's constantly people sitting on this sculpture next, to, right next to me. When James is around, he doesn't seem to care. He's recognized as one of the top artists in the century. Um, and I think that's amazing for us here in Carbondale and a wonderful opportunity for Carbondale to get on a, to get on a program that brings people to the valley that has an appreciation not only for art, no matter what age you're in, but the appreciation for art in the evolving world that we live in today. So I'm very excited for James and I sincerely hope that we can support him as a community in having the James Searles Museum here.